Hi Boo Boos, it's Bijou with Nobu Tech and today we've got the Vive Pro 2, the latest and greatest in HTC's VR headsets. Okay, let's highlight some of these new features. We've got 5K resolution, amazing, a wider field of view, totally revamped lenses, and the OLED panels on the previous models have been replaced by LCD. And that means a higher frame rate, so we are here for it. Pretty much everything else that we know and love from the previous Vive models is the same. We've got the mechanical interpupillary distance, we've got 3D on-ear audio, and we've got the award-winning comfort straps. It fits so nicely on the face, why change a thing? It does have the same iffy microphones and it does still have the same spongy cushion, lets in a little bit of light on the sides, but we all replaced that anyway, so who cares? Let's get into these updated specs. We've got a pixel dense, rich 2448 by 2448 pixels per eye for that 5K resolution, amazing plus 120 degrees field of view, wider than the previous models. Heck yeah, we love it. So the displays have changed from the previous OLED to LCD, which normally would be a downgrade. OLEDs tend to have the really bright, juicy colors, the beautiful contrast, the deep blacks, and just the vivid, bright colors. But LCD gives you the higher frame rate. And we've got the wider field of view, everything, the higher frame rate, everything's great, so, I, I'm not really gonna miss the OLED. I have a feeling that Vive probably figured out a way to get bright and juicy colors anyway. And if you wanted to play wirelessly, which I totally recommend, you will be capped at 90 frames per second, but that's still 90 frames per second. That's, that's pretty dang good and wireless is worth it every time. In a first for VR, HTC worked closely with AMD and Nvidia to implement display stream compression, which means that you get lossless transmission of high resolution data. So you don't need the latest and greatest graphics cards. So if you've got an RTX 2000 generation graphics card, this is still gonna work great. It's gonna work better than the previous vibes did. Next up, lenses. Look at this crazy custom shape. No longer the standard round shape like the previous models, so you're not gonna be able to pop them out and replace them like you might have done before with those guys, but they're pretty freaking dope, so I don't think you're gonna want to, and let me tell you why. The Fresnel lenses are now dual layer, kind of like the Valve Index, which means no more screen door effect, and God rays, more like gone rays. The quality is amazing. Though there is an odd thing, they're shorter, so you don't quite get the 120 degrees vertically, but doesn't really matter, you don't even notice. They look great. An unexpected benefit of this shape, there's space for your nose. Your nose is no longer holding up the weight of the headset. I love it. One other side effect of this new lens shape is we did lose Toby eye tracking. It was just built for the round lenses and doesn't fit here, so it wasn't really an option, but it didn't see that much use outside of chat games, so I'm personally not too heartbroken about it. And if you're worried about foveated rendering, keep in mind, you've got a 5K display, you've got display stream compression, and the screen's only about an inch wide, so it's going to look great. However, HTC is partnering with 7Inventsun, the same company that Pimax used, to create a future add-on to add eye tracking to this headset. So this is the Pimax one, imagine one that fits in here. So if you really adhered to eye tracking, but you also want this headset, don't worry, she's coming. Now let's find out what's in the box. All past and present accessories are still compatible. You can use Base Station 1.0 or 2.0, trackers 1.0 through 3.0, the brand new face tracker, and the wireless adapter, and whatever third-party accessories you know and love, they all work with this headset. All right, let's go test it out. Woo! <laughs> let's play! Yeah, it's because of the headset's so good. Also, this game is very similar to DDR. And I gotta say, the graphics are a lot better than my PlayStation 2. <laughs> Woo! 
Woo! <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's cute. They're green for green day. And there's a whole stage. Shout out to whoever made this one. Oh, uh, heck, ha, <laughs> no, the end of that was so bad. But that was very fun, great headset. Well, folks, it's a great headset, honestly. The high frame rate is fantastic for high-speed gameplay. There's no motion blur, the colors are mwah, so juicy. I don't miss the OLED, honestly. I think it's great. If it's in your budget for an enterprise headset, you know you're gonna get quality gameplay and you're gonna get quality parts. So it's gonna last you so many hours of, of delightful, crisp, smooth gameplay. Highly recommend. So this one's a thumbs up from us at Nobu Tech. Stay tuned for our next episode. I'll give you a hint for what it's about, but you have to focus.